And a lot louder there now than the last time we checked in with her. Michelle? Absolutely, Jamboree at the RNC is running smooth already. A lot of people coming over now as the speeches are slowly starting to finish up at Pfizer Forum. There's a lot of space at this bar here, this whole room and another large room too. Again, as we expect this whole area, plus Old World 3rd Street filling up as out-of-towners are out enjoying the night, the music, and all that Milwaukee has to offer. They came for the convention and so much more. This is a really helpful event, and we definitely want to use this momentum, just keep moving toward the November. Both inside and outside the secure area around Pfizer Forum is like one giant party. Great place. It reminds me of the South. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because people are friendly. Finding Milwaukee as Midwest friendly, they're liking the food too. Uh, we actually are from Texas, and, and the first place we went to eat was a taco place around the corner. So I got to say, you know, wasn't expecting a whole lot, but there are actually some really good tacos here in Milwaukee. But much of the talk is focused on former President Trump and the assassination attempt at a rally Saturday. Thank the Lord that he's okay and nothing they can throw at him is working. Originally, I was going to leave on Thursday, but after what happened on Saturday, I decided I wanted to stay till Friday to see uh, President Trump's speech on <laughs> Thursday. Attendees also focused on the announcement that Ohio lawmaker J.D. Vance will be Trump's running mate. He is a natural selection in that way and is going to be a great VP. Hearing J.D. Vance would be our next vice president was one of the most exciting moments of my life. Out here spending money, exactly what uh, the businesses here have hoped for. Right now you're listening to the sounds of Chicago DJ Melkin Cooks. That is short for milking cookies, I'm told. Reporting live on Old World 3rd, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.